where we studied in Canterbury and there was that green, yeah. that, the kind of nature, uh, you know, Canterbury is the garden of England and stuff. And we were talking yeah. about how you, because you live in London now, how the noise of London and everything like that it becomes so much for you. Yeah, it can be, it can be so chaotic and I think it's really hard to uh, become aware of the beauty that's around us. Hi, I'm Asya. I'm a mindfulness teacher in training and mindfulness coach who works with young people. Uh, when I was working with people who had uh, severe mental health issues, um, I had been um, keeping within myself this um, this difficult experience of uh, losing a friend to suicide um, and I hadn't uh, processed it. Like for me personally, uh, the panic attacks were about like my unprocessed grief. So behind the fear there was there was grief. Energy being really stagnant inside of me and yeah like to the point where it's not moving, it's all condensed and stagnant and really muddy and vicious and I'm drowning in it. Like the thing that, that also helped me was um, um, like finding that place inside of me that wasn't feeling the panic. Mm. That the part of me that was, that could like witness like observe the panic otherwise it becomes like this thing that you need to keep under control and it's like so much energy instead like okay let 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 let's let the panic be here <laughs> being really compassionate with myself and imagining that i'm like a parent and that my panic is a baby and i will imagine saying um, you know, I'm so sorry that you're feeling like this intense fear. I'm here with you uh, We're gonna weather the storm together. I'm gonna be with you um, My inner child I want to call it that was saying I just want to be me essentially and that was like this like scream of I just I want to be seen as me, as who I authentically am. A, it feels like a beam of light, uh, like entering my heart. As beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Love it.